taste is exactly what I was craving for. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to set our mouths on fire with a delicious spicy Korean pork recipe, Jeok Bokum. When I was in Korea, my friends often took me to a restaurant to eat this, but I have never made this for my wife. So let's give it a try. Let's do this. First thing we are going to do is remove the outer leaves from the cabbage. Who knows where those have been? They're just kind of laying around in the grocery store. Mm. Make sure you always wash your vegetables and your hands, by the way. Next, we will chop the cabbage into easy bite-sized pieces. Maybe a couple centimeters squared is fine, but if you have a smaller or bigger mouth, change the size, no problem at all. Next up, we're going to peel a carrot and cut up half of it into little moon-shaped slices. Now, if you don't like moon-shaped slices, you can cut them into squares, I don't care. Now, this thing, I don't really know what to call it. In Korea, they would use something called depa, but in the Asian grocery store, this thing was called a leek. But in Western grocery stores, a uh, leek is much bigger. So, yeah, what is it? Let me know. Now, I cut up the white part and the green part separately so that I can add the green into the meal later for some extra color. Now we get to the spicy part. These little guys will burn your mouth, but they are really nice to add to this dish. If you can't find these or don't like it too spicy, it's okay to leave them out. Now in Korea, these are called Cheongyang Gochu. I don't actually know if I have the exact same chili peppers here, but they are the same color and they look pretty similar. So for me, that's good enough. And there you go. All the veggies are cut. Pretty easy, right? Looks nice too. Oh, I guess we have one more, an onion. My onion cutting skills are a bit rough today, but trust me, no one will be able to tell by the time I'm done. So just chop it into chunks. For the meat, I used 550 grams of pork tenderloin. Jeok literally means pork in Korean. So you could try different cuts of pork as well. Even pork belly would be amazing or a pork neck. Normally you should cut this pork like you do with bulgogi, really thin. But I was wanting bigger chunks today. If you are the one eating it, cut it how you like it. I really enjoy the smell of ginger when cooking my meat, so I always try to add a little bit in. It just brightens up the whole kitchen when you're cooking. And of course we need some sugar as well to balance the spiciness. Next up, we got the sauce. The sauce is the last thing we have to make before we start cooking. It is so easy to make this. Just add two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of mirin, one tablespoon of sesame oil. Oh yeah. Um, I only have one tablespoon, so I gotta make sure I wash it before putting it in the garlic. There we go. Let's add one tablespoon of garlic. One tablespoon of gochugadu. And some pepper. However much you want is fine, that's no problem. Now, no spicy Korean sauce is complete without adding some gochujang. One quarter cup to be exact. And because I didn't want to wash my tablespoon again, let's just dump in some sugar. That's about two tablespoons, uh, right?
Let's mix it all up and bring all these guys over to the stove. What we're going to do is heat up a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil on high heat and sear the pork. Ah, oh, here's that smell that I was talking about. Amazing. Make sure you try to get some color on these guys. Next, we will add the cabbage, carrots, and the white part of the leek. Turn down the heat to medium high and cook for about five minutes before adding in the sauce. Give it a good stir. You should see the color changing to a deep orange reddish color. And finally, we add the rest of the veggies. These really make the dish pop. Overall, Korean food is just so colorful and, and beautiful. I love it. After a few minutes, prepare the rice. Make sure you hide the slightly brown part because you have a $4 rice cooker you picked up secondhand. Um, but no one needs to know that. And top it with your beautiful red creation. Add some green onions on top and finally just like every Korean dish throw some sesame seeds on the top to make it look extra pretty and there you have it you just made jayok bokum let's see what the wife thinks oh, it looks beautiful sweetie it looks beautiful Even before I put the food in my mouth, I could smell right in front of my nose that, oh, this is perfect. Every ingredient that's supposed to be there is there, and the flavor is amazing. It tastes really good. I see that um, you cut the meat a little bit smaller and thicker compared to other restaurants. It almost looked like Takalbi, the way that you cut it. Oh, I love it though. Mmm. Mm. I can't believe the ingredient that we can get in Canada. You can make the perfect Korean meal. This is so good. This is exactly what I was craving for. Even when you are done with meat, like this sauce you don't want to get rid of it because this is so good to just eat with rice wow yeah. jokbokum is spicy food but it's not just spicy it has a sweetness it has complexity of flavorful bowl of happiness it's so good mm. To be honest, this tastes better than most of Korean restaurants that I've been in Korea. This is better. Mm -hmm.